Hello class, for this video we will be discussing forces. This is a topic in statics of rigid bodies. Resolution of a force in two components. A given force F can be resolved into or replaced by two forces, which together produces the same effects that of force F. These forces are called the components of force F. This process of replacing a force into its components is known as resolution of a force into components. Force can be resolved into two components, which are either perpendicular to each other or inclined to each other. If the two components are perpendicular to one another, then they are known as rectangular components. And when the components are inclined to each other, they are called as inclined components. The resolution of force into components is illustrated as follows. So as you can see here, we have our force F. We can convert that one into two forces, which is Fy and Fx. And that is called the components of our force F. Let us discuss on how to convert this F into our Fy and Fx. So first, we have our angle theta. And therefore, yung opposite na side niya is called as the opposite side. Then, yung ating adjacent sa angle natin is called as adjacent side. Tapos, yung opposite ng ating 90 degrees that is called as our hypotenuse. And as we know, we have Pythagorean theorem that is hypotenuse squared is equivalent to opposite squared plus adjacent squared. So, for this one, we have F is our hypotenuse Fy will be our opposite side and Fx would be our adjacent side with respect to our angle theta. So, ibig sabihin, we have F squared is equivalent to Fy squared plus Fx squared. So, sa topic natin sa trigonometry, meron tayong acronym na SOKATOA. Ibig sabihin, sine is equivalent to opposite over hypotenuse, that is so. We have ka, that is cosine, is equivalent to adjacent over hypotenuse. And we have toa, that is tangent, is equivalent to opposite over adjacent. So for this one, yung ating opposite na angle theta is Fy. So that is Fy divided by hypotenuse F. For our cosine theta, adjacent po natin na side is si Fx that is divided by hypotenuse F. And then tangent theta is equivalent to opposite over adjacent. So opposite natin is Fy and adjacent natin is si Fx. So class, para mas makabisado natin, lagyan natin ng another angle which is called as angle alpha. So for this one, i-recreate natin lahat ng formulas dito pero with respect tayo kay alpha. So, sine of alpha is equivalent to opposite over hypotenuse. So, if you are talking about our alpha, this side will be our opposite side and this side will be our adjacent side. So, ibig sabihin yung ating opposite which is our f of x divided by our hypotenuse which is f pa din. So, yung f natin is just the same. Next is our cosine of alpha. So, pag cosine that is ka, adjacent over hypotenuse. And if we are respecting our alpha, yung ating adjacent will be our side Fy. Ito siya. So, that is divided by F. Next is yung ating tangent alpha. And then again, etong alpha yung nire-respect natin. Yung ating opposite is si Fx. Divided by yung ating adjacent na side, that is Fy. So therefore, if bibigyan kayo ng magkabaliktad-baliktad na angle, eto dapat yung tatandaan mo. Resolution of a force into rectangular components. Consider a force F acting on a particle O inclined at an angle of theta as shown in figure A. Let X and Y axes can be the two axes passing through O perpendicular to each other. These two axes are called rectangular axes or coordinate axes. They may be horizontal and vertical or inclined as shown in figure B. So yung ating topic for today, we will be focusing in this one. 
which is horizontal and vertical forces. For our next video, yung ating incline. For our sign convention, the conventional coordinate directions are used for the sign conventions of the components of the force. That is, the components along the coordinate directions are considered as positive components and the one in the opposite direction as negative components. So dito class, if our force is going upward, that is positive. Going downward is negative. If it is going to the right, that is positive. And going to the left is negative. But again, pwede mo yan siyang i-interchange. Dapat lang consistent ka sa solution mo. So for example, gagawin mo tong positive. Ito is negative. Ito is magiging negative. And this is positive. Okay lang yan. Basta all throughout your solution is the same yung assumption mo. Let us proceed to our examples para mas malaman natin yung concept na napag-usapan natin kanina. Number one, a force of 100 newton is exerted on a point as shown in the figure. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of the force. Take note class, in solving our different problems, we have different approaches pero same lang yung kanyang mga sagot. So for this one, ipapakita natin yung lahat or almost all our solution na pwede natin gawin dito. Then ikaw na bahala or mamili kung saan yung gusto mo na method. Hindi tayo binigyan ng angle theta, so isosolve muna natin si angle theta. Gagamitin natin yung ating rise over run. So for this one, bilangin natin, we have 1, 2, 3, that is our run. Then yung ating rise is 1, 2, 3, 4. And we need its hypotenuse. Gagamitin natin yung Pythagorean theorem that is hypotenuse squared is equivalent to our opposite squared plus adjacent squared. So I set natin class, this will be our angle theta. So this will be also our angle theta. Solve natin si hypotenuse that is equivalent to the square root of opposite natin, in this case, that is 4 squared plus adjacent natin, etong 3, so 3 squared. Hypotenuse is equivalent to calculator po natin. We have the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared is equivalent to 5. So, lagay natin dito, hypotenuse natin is 5 and this is 5. So take note class, yung hinahanap natin dito is yung ating Fy and our Fx. So for our Fy, makukuha natin siya using our sign kasi Fy is opposite with our angle theta. So sulat natin so ka towa. For sine, that is opposite over hypotenuse. So that is sine of theta is equivalent to our opposite over our hypotenuse, which is equivalent to Fy, yung opposite natin, hypotenuse natin is F. But take note, hindi pa natin ito magagamit kasi wala tayong angle theta. So ang gagamitin natin is yung ating rise and run. We will be using tangent of theta is equivalent to our opposite over our adjacent and then titingnan natin sa ating rise and run yung ating opposite is 4 then yung ating adjacent dito is 3 so lipat natin sa kabila angle theta is equivalent to arc tan then multiplied by 4 over 3 Make sure na naka-degree tayo. So, shift mode, then degree. Tapos, type natin shift tan para arc tan multiplied by 4 over 3. That is equivalent to 53.13 degrees. Again natin, angle theta is equivalent to 53.13 degrees. So, para makuha natin si Fy, lagay natin Fy is equivalent to yung F is E. Transfer natin sa kabila, F sine of angle theta. That is, F is given 100 sine 
of 53.13 degrees. Fy is equivalent to, input natin, we have 100, multiplied by sine of 53.13 degrees. That is equivalent to 79.9998 or round up natin 80. But as right, that is equivalent to 80 newton. Final answer. So let us proceed in finding our fx. That is cosine theta is equivalent to our adjacent over hypotenuse galing sa ating ka. Cosine is equivalent to adjacent over hypotenuse. It's equivalent to, ang adjacent po natin dito sa angle theta is si fx divided by f. So ilagay natin class, we have fx is equivalent to, transfer natin si f sa kabila, magiging f multiplied by cosine of angle theta. And then substitute natin, we have 100 cosine of angle 53.13 degrees. Input natin, we have 100 cosine of 53.13 degrees. So our answer is 60 newton. So dito, fx po natin is equivalent to 60 newton. This is our final answer. So class, if you want to check if this is correct or not, Pwede natin gamitin yung ating Pythagorean theorem. We have f squared is equivalent to fy squared plus fx squared. So ilipat natin sa kabila, magiging f is equivalent to the square root of fy na solved natin which is 80 newtons squared plus fx natin is 60 newtons squared then square root silang lahat. So, we will calculate. Tingnan natin kung 100 ba talaga yung ating F. We have the square root of 80 squared plus 60 squared equals 100. So, F natin dito is 100 which is our given. Therefore, check. So, yung next solution natin class na pwede natin gamitin is yung common triangles. Ibig sabihin, triangles with the same angle will have the common ratio and proportion with its sides. Ang ating small triangle that is 4, 3, 5. Sa ating malaking triangle, we have Fy, Fx, and our F. So, for example, yung inahanap natin dito is Fy divided by yung sign na given which is yung side F which is our hypotenuse that is 100 Newton. So, ilagay natin. Next is to input its corresponding side. Yung Fy is naka-vertical, so therefore yung 4 yung ilalagay natin kasi naka-vertical din siya. Divided by yung ating F, which is our hypotenuse, so 5 yung kanyang corresponding number. So we can solve for our Fy that is equivalent to 4 over 5 of our F. Substitute natin, Fy is equivalent to 4 over 5. Multiplied by F, which is 100. Calculate natin. We have 4 over 5 multiplied by 100. is equivalent to 80. So, Fy is equivalent to 80 Newton. Final answer. Next is our component in our x-axis, which is Fx. Divided by yung ating given, which is our F. Is equivalent to Fx po natin na corresponding na side is 3 kasi nakahiga silang dalawa or naka-horizontal. Lagay natin 3 divided by F. F po natin is yung hypotenuse which is 5. So lipat natin si F sa kabila. Magiging Fx is equivalent to 3 over 5 multiplied by our F. So Fx is equivalent to 3 over 5 multiplied by F, which is 100. Let's calculate. We have 3 over 5 multiplied by 100 equals 60. So, Fx po natin is equivalent to 60 Newton. Final answer. So, tingnan natin sa solution natin kanina. 
Fy is 80 newton. Fy is 80 newton. Fx is 60 newton. And Fx is 60 newton. So for our next method class, i-emphasize lang natin na pwedeng gamitin yung angle sa taas, say angle alpha. So for our angle alpha, lagay natin first, so, ka, toa. We can solve our angle alpha by using our tangent alpha is equivalent to our opposite over adjacent kasi toa siya. So, lagay natin dito, if we are respecting our angle alpha, yung fx natin, yung ating opposite, and fy will be our adjacent. For our rise and run, yung ating run, yung ating opposite, which is 3, then yung rise natin, yung ating magiging adjacent. So, lagay natin dito sa maliit na triangle, ito yung angle alpha natin. Ayan. Transfer natin sa kabila, we have... Alpha is equivalent to tangent raised to the power of negative 1 of 3 fourths. Then, let's use our calculator. Input natin shift tan of 3 over 4 is equivalent to 36.8698 or that is 36.87 degrees. Sulat natin, 36.87 degrees. So, take note class, this one can be obtained if meron tayong angle theta. Take note that angle theta plus angle alpha is equivalent to 90 degrees. Ibig sabihin sa isang right triangle, yung ating summation ng dalawang angle natin dito is equivalent to 90 degrees. Angle alpha is equivalent to 90 minus angle theta, that is 90 minus 53.13. Angle alpha is equivalent to, that is 90 minus 53.13. Yan. Same kanina, 36.87 degrees. So that is 36.87 degrees. So, let's use this angle to solve our Fy and Fx. So, for our Fy, that is the adjacent side of our angle alpha. So, we will be using cosine. This cosine of angle alpha is equivalent to our adjacent divided by our hypotenuse. In this case, adjacent natin is Fy divided by hypotenuse F. Transfer natin sa kabila, magiging Fy is equivalent to F cosine of angle alpha. So, substitute natin 100 cosine of angle alpha which is 36.87 degrees. So, calculator natin yung ating Fy. Lagay natin 100 cosine of 36.87 that is equivalent to 79.9998 or that is round off to 80. Sulat natin 80 newtons. Last is our Fx which can be solved using our sine of angle alpha that is opposite over hypotenuse. So if we are dealing with angle alpha, yung opposite natin is Fx. Divided by hypotenuse natin, which is F. So, lagay natin, Fx is equivalent to F sine of angle alpha. Input natin, Fx is equivalent to 100 sine of 36.87 degrees. So, calculate natin kung anong value ng ating Fx. We have 100 sine of 36.87 equals 60. So, dito, Fx po natin is 60 Newton. Then, this is our final answer. This is also our final answer. Let us compare. Fy natin is 80. Dito is Fy natin is 80. Then, eto siya. Fx natin is 60. Fx natin is 60. So, mapapansin ninyo, class, 
if we will be using this angle theta is 100 sine of 53.13 is 80 newton. Pwede din natin siyang makuha kung yung another part ng ating 90 degrees yung ating gagamitin. Ibig sabihin, 100 cosine of 90 degrees minus 53.13 which is this one. 100 cosine of 36.87. Dito din, 100 sine of 36.87 is 60 newton. Pwede din baliktad. 100 cosine then yung another part ng 36 we have cosine of 53.13 degrees. Kumbaga, the same lang yung sagot ni cosine 53.13 degrees and ni sine of 36.87 degrees. So for our second example, we have a force of 800 newton is exerted on a bolt A as shown in the figure. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of the force. Drawing muna natin class, this is our FY or our vertical force. And then, ito yung ating Fx or yung ating horizontal force. So, Fy and our Fx. So, if we are using this angle 35, lagyan natin ng label angle theta, this will be our opposite side, this will be our adjacent side. Lagyan natin opposite to our angle and this is the adjacent side of our angle. Siyempre, ito yung magiging hypotenuse natin. So, solve natin to class. First is Fy. We have so ka towa. So, if we want to solve for our Fy, we will be using sine. That is, sine of angle theta is equivalent to opposite, which is Fy, divided by our hypotenuse, which is F. So, isulat natin para kompleto. This is our opposite and this is hypotenuse. Transfer natin, we have Fy is equivalent to F sine of angle theta. So, Fy is equivalent to F which is 800. Then, sine natin ng 35 degrees. So, Fy is equivalent to, we have 800 Sine of 35 equals 458.861. That is 458.861. Newton, final answer. Next, we will be using ka. Cosine is equivalent to adjacent over hypotenuse. In this one, adjacent natin is fx. Hypotenuse natin is F. So, sulat natin, we have our adjacent over our hypotenuse. Lipat natin sa kabila, we have Fx is equivalent to F multiplied by cosine of angle theta. Fx is equivalent to 800 cosine of angle 35. So, our Fx is equivalent to 800 Cosine of 35 is 655.321. So that is 655.321 or pag ating i-round up, 322. Newton. Final answer. So para mas makasigurado tayo, checking natin siya. F is equivalent to Fy squared plus fx squared, then etong lahat is naka-square root. So, ilagay natin is equivalent to the square root of 458.861 squared plus 655.322 squared. So, Calculator natin. Square root of 458.861 squared plus 655.322 squared equals 800. So yung F natin dito is 800 which is correct kasi F natin dito a given is 800 newton. So check okay yung ating mga sagot.
Let us proceed to our third problem. A man pulls with a force of 300 newton on a rope attached to a building as shown in our figure. What are the horizontal and vertical components of the force exerted by the rope at point A? So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong building, eto, nakatali, and then hinihila siya ng ating persons. So, lagyan natin ng arrowhead, papunta dito. This is our 300 newton. And this is our force F. So, yung goal natin dito is to determine our Fy. This is our Fy. And to determine our Fx, ito yung ating Fx. Take note, hindi tayo binigan ng angle alpha, but we can use our rise and run dito para mas madali tayo. Common triangles. So, for this one, yung ating common triangle, ilagay natin, this is 8, yung ating run, and yung ating rise is 6. So, Pythagorean theorem, we have hypotenuse squared is equivalent to our opposite squared plus our adjacent squared. So, for this one, ito yung angle alpha, ito yung angle alpha. So, we have hypotenuse is equivalent to, opposite po natin is 6 squared plus 8 squared. Then, that is all naka-square root. Hypotenuse natin is equivalent to, we have the square root of 6 squared plus 8 squared is equivalent to 10. So, that, that is 10. So, therefore, this is 10. So, ilagay natin yung ating unknown is si Fy divided by yung ating given, which is CF. So, it is equivalent to, again, common triangles or ratio and proportion, FY natin is 6, yung kanyang corresponding natin na side. Divided by F, which is 10, that is its corresponding side. So, FY is equivalent to 6 over 10 times our F. So, FY is equivalent to 6 over 10 multiplied by F, which is 300. Calculate, that is 6 over 10 times 300 equals 180. Sulat natin class, Fy is equivalent to 180 Newton final answer. Next, ano natin is si Fx. So, ilagay natin siya Fx divided by yung given natin, which is F. In this case, Fx natin is yung nakahiga. So, 8 yung kanyang corresponding na side, which is naka-horizontal din. Divided by F, which is naka-diagonal, which is 10. Our hypotenuse. So, lagay natin, Fx is equivalent to 8 over 10 multiplied by our F. Fx is equivalent to 8 over 10 F po natin is 300 and then calculator natin. That is 8 over 10 multiplied by 300 equals 240. Sulat so, natin Fx is equivalent to 240 Newton. Final answer. So para sure, let us have our checking. F is equivalent to Fy squared plus fx squared, then lahat naka-square root. So, input natin, we have 180 squared plus 240 squared, then naka-square root siya. So, calculate natin, class. We have the square root of 180 squared plus 240 squared is equivalent to 300. So, therefore, dito is 300 newton, which is the same sa ating given. Check siya. So, lagyan lang natin ng square dito. Fourth problem natin, we have letter A. Determine the x and y components of each forces shown. And letter B, find the resultant force and its direction. So, ibig sabihin, etong tatlong forces na to, hahanapin natin yung kanyang X and Y components. Pagkatapos, summation of forces natin para makuha yung ating resultant forces and its direction. Unahin natin yung force F. Lagyan natin. For force F. 
So, yung force F natin, binigay yung ating rise and run. So, therefore, solve muna natin yung kanyang hypotenuse. So, pagkuha sa kanyang hypotenuse, we have the square root of 12 squared, which is our rise, plus 5 squared, which is our run, equivalent to 13. So, isulat natin dito 13, and we will be using our common triangles. Sulat natin dito, this is our FY. And this will be our fx. So by common triangle, first thing is, is to solve natin si fy. Divided by f, which is yung given natin dito, si 390. Then fy natin na representative is 12 and yung f natin is 13. Lipat natin si f sa kabila, magiging fy is equivalent to 12 over 13. F natin na value is 390. Calculator, we have 12 over 13 multiplied by 390 equals 360. Sulat natin dito, FY is equivalent to 360 pounds. Final answer. Next is our fx. Lagay natin fx divided by f, which is our given. fx natin is naka-horizontal, so 5 yung kanyang corresponding side divided by 13, which is our f na side. Then transfer natin sa kabila, fx is equivalent to 5 over 13 multiplied by f, which is 390. Calculator ulit. We have 5 divided by 13 multiplied by 390. As shown, Fx natin is equivalent to 150 pounds. Final answer. Proceed tayo for our force T. So sa so force T natin, binigyan tayo ng angle theta which is 40 degrees. So, we will be using that one in getting our Ty and our Tx. So, in getting our Ty, that is equivalent to sine of our theta because that is our opposite. So, kanina nasa over T. So, transfer na lang natin kaagad T sine of theta. That is opposite over hypotenuse. So, lagay natin dito, Ty is equivalent to 400 sine of 40 degrees. Ty natin is equivalent to, input natin, 400 sine of 40 equals 257.115. 257.115 pounds. Final answer. Next, ulitin natin for our Tx, that is equivalent to Tx natin is our adjacent. So, this is cosine of angle theta. So, Tx over T, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, lipat ko na lang yung T sa kabila para one-liner lang. So, Tx is equivalent to T, which is 400 cosine of 40. Let's use our calculator, 400 cosine of 40 is equivalent to 306.4177 or 418. Tx is equivalent to 306.418 pounds. Final answer. So for our last force, which is for force. Take note, dito class, ang binigay sa atin is angle pa rin, So, pwede natin niyang ma-solve using our trigonometric identities. We have our Py and this will be our Px. So, again, unahin natin si Py. Py can be solved using our sign. Because Py is our opposite side. So that is Py is equivalent to P multiplied by sine of theta. So yung P sa kabila, transfer ko na lang 
kaagad. That is Py is equivalent to P, which is 300 pounds multiplied by sine of 30 degrees. That is 300 sine of 30 equals 150. Let's write that one. Py is equivalent to 150 pounds. Final answer. Next and last for our forces is our Px. Can be solved using our cosine, which is the adjacent of our angle 30. So that is multiplied by P. Px is equivalent to 300 multiplied by cosine of 30 degrees. So Px is equivalent to calculator 300 cosine of 30 equals 259.807 or 808. We have 259.808 pounds. Final answer. So yan, nakuha na natin lahat ng X and Y natin na components. For our letter B, find the resultant force and its direction. For our letter B, find the resultant force and its direction. So ang gagawin natin class is R, or reaction in our X-axis is equivalent to i-add up natin lahat ng ating mga X-axis na mga forces. For this one, we have Fx plus px plus px. So, tingnan natin. Fx po natin is going to the left. So, going to the left is negative 150. Next, px natin is also going to the left. So, left forces is negative. So, lagay natin negative 306.418. Last is our Px. Yung Px po natin is papuntang right, which is positive. So therefore, positive 259.808. Then, calculator. We have negative 150 minus 306.418 plus 259.808. Negative 196.61. Sulat natin, negative 196.610 pounds. Next is our RY. Summation natin lahat ng forces sa y-axis. First, we have our FY plus our TY and our PY. So for our FY, that is going upward, so that is positive 360. Next is for our TY, that is going downward, which is negative 257.115. Last, we have our 150, which is our PY, going down siya, so negative 150. Equals, input natin. 360 minus 257.115 minus 150 equals negative 47.115. Sulat natin negative 47.115 pounds. So in computing our resultant force that is equivalent to the square root of our resultant force in our x-axis, squared plus the resultant force of our y-axis squared. So, square root natin sila. Then input natin, we have the square root of negative 196.610 squared plus negative 47.115 squared. Square root. So, our R is equivalent to, calculator natin, we have the square root of negative 196.610 squared plus 
negative 47.115 squared equals 202.176. So based on our calculator, our resultant force is equivalent to 202.176 pound. And that is our final answer. Last is its direction or kumbaga its angle. So ilagay natin dito, ang pagkuha po sa ating angle is tangent of angle theta is equivalent to Ry over Rx. So tandaan ninyo, yung ating rise yung palaging nasa itaas, yung run yung ating nasa ilalim. So angle theta is equivalent to tangent is to negative 1 of our ROI. So, ang ROI natin dito is negative 47.115 and then yung ating Rx dito is negative 196.610. So, using our calculator, we have shift tan of our ROI which is negative 47 0.115 divided by our Rx which is negative 196.610 that is equivalent to 13.476 degrees. Sulat natin, we have 13.476 degrees. Final answer. So, paano siya i-drawing? Take note, yung Rx natin is going to our negative side. So, negative side natin is going to the left. Then, yung ating Ry is going downwards kasi negative. So, therefore, nasa quadrant 3 siya. Next is its angle, 13.476. Mag-start tayo sa 0 degree. So, nandito banda. This is our reaction or resultant force. And this angle is 13.476. Again natin. 13.476 degrees. So for our number 5, use this one as your practice problem and just solve this one on your free time. As always, thank you for listening. I hope that you have learned something for this video. See you again for the next one. Goodbye.